troops from New Zealand taking part in the Queen's State Funeral today performed the haka in front of the Prince and Princess of Wales. William and Kate spent the afternoon at Army Training Centre Herbright in Surrey, meeting soldiers from the Commonwealth who are participating in Monday's historic event. There are 28 Australian troops, 64 Canadian soldiers and 25 from New Zealand taking part in the funeral service, for which rehearsals were taking place on site during the royal's visit. The couple were greeted with a performance of the ceremonial Maori dance by 25 members of the New Zealand Defence Force, after which William appeared to nod in acknowledgement. Earlier on the visit, they discussed how strange it has been going from the Queen's Platinum Jubilee to her funeral in a matter of months. William, talking with troops from Australia, was heard saying the difference between the celebrations in June and the funeral preparations shows the highs and lows of it all. Meanwhile, Kate, who was speaking with Canadian military personnel, said, Going from that, the Jubilee, to this in a few months is very strange. She was also heard discussing lack of sleep with the troops. It comes after the couple yesterday chatted with crowds at the late Monarch Sandringham residence in Norfolk and looked over the sea of tributes left in her memory. William and Kate, both 40, began the visit by stepping out of a dark Range Rover near to the estate's historic Norwich gates where they warmly greeted by huge crowds who had waited behind metal barriers to see them.